variation of streamer fishing on the East Walker River called the Dip and Strip. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, Dip and Strip with a streamer. So I'm looking at this nice big slack water pool here. Now, typically when I travel, I'll carry a handful of rods with me so I can try different approaches and, and break down different stretches of river with different techniques. If I was gonna fish that with a dry dropper, I wanna make sure I have a streamer set up as well because I know that there likely might be something big lurking, cruising through here, picking up bait fish, crayfish, other bugs coming off in here. But um, sometimes a way to get their attention is just a nice big streamer. So we're gonna talk about dip and strip. And the dip and strip is essentially, you're gonna cast way downstream Bury your rod tip down in the water, submerge your line, let that fly really get down, and then do a nice retrieval, stripping it back into you upstream. The way I like to break down a section of streamer water with a streamer is I change up my retrieve. I might break it up and do two, three pulses, count, um, kind of mishmash it. Maybe I'm doing a steady retrieve quick retrieve, slow retrieve. I'm gonna mix it up until something connects. And once I know what that retrieval means to the fish, I'm gonna to continue to use that particular retrieval. And if it doesn't work anymore, then we'll go back and switch it up, try a different retrieval. Um, again, whether it's broken pattern or a fast pattern or a slow pattern, figure out what's working, what they, what they wanna see that entices them to eat the fly. I'm gonna break down the entire water column. So I might start a little bit more shallow. Um, and again, it's not moving very quickly. I can submerge this, uh, this floating line. Ordinarily, I'd have a sinking line on if it was a little bit faster. Um, and that's the key to, again, with the dip and strip is you're burying that rod tip in the water to help control the depth of your fly line and get your fly down into where you want it to work. Um, I want to start shallow. I want to go a little further down as I, as I go and see where the fish are holding. But really, it's, um, fishing stuff like this is really about just breaking down the depths. Take your time and throw some casts out. Get that fly down. Bury the rod tip in the water. Retrieve it. Change up your retrieval. See if you connect. So typically with a dip and strip, I like to stand at the head of the pool, cast way downstream, um, open up a nice big cast if you can. Obviously in areas where you've got no ability to back cast, it's gonna be a problem. Um, but if you have room to open up a big cast, send some line downstream. Again, get the rod tip buried down in the water, even if it's touching the gravel. Get that fly down and mimic a bait fish. If you get an opportunity to see if there's bait fish actually even in the pool, see how they're moving, try to mimic them. And what this is, is just, it's a way of breaking down the water column to see where the fish are hanging out. So we're gonna throw a nice big cast downstream and what I want to do is bury this rod tip down into the water, get my line to sink so that my fly is going to travel where my fly line is headed. So we're going to start a little retrieve. I'm going to start with a short, moderate retrieve. Let's see if anything is home. So I want to start again in this little bit faster water and eventually I'm going to move out in a fan out to my right to cover all this water here. But I want to start with this likely water first. When I move a little further to my left, I can see that it, this little run is getting just a little bit deeper. Whoa, watch the back cast. So now I want to start making it look like I've got a bait fish escaping a little of this eddy out here to my left. Maybe moving out into the current, see if anything takes a shine to it. 
so I'm not necessarily hitting bottom. There's enough current here, it's creating a little elevation in the ride of where my fly is traveling from. You wanna get that rod tip down, and if you touch the gravel with your rod tip, that helps you kind of gauge your depth and where your line is gonna create your fly to travel. You don't have to smash your rod tip down in there either. I mean, you just want to barely touch it. And another thing you can do too, is if you want to really get a little bit more travel with that fly, make it work a little extra, you can bring it, bring it past you, bring it up past you through the water. See if anything maybe comes out of the depths and chases it up out of that faster water, out of the bottom of the pool. Move yourself over if you need to. Adjust your position. Um, I tend to be a little more out to my left. You can certainly bring this out to your right and create a little bit different angle. Speed up your retrieve. Adjust your retrieve as you need to. That was some cool information and a little variation on streamer fishing and why and where and so on from Whitney Inman, who is with the Angler's Edge. We were up there on the East Walker River and uh, looking at a certain section of the river and she took out and said, okay, this is the strategy or tactic that I would use for this part of the river and, and the gear and the rigging and so on. And then her technique. So appreciate Whitney going through that and helping us. If you want to learn a little bit about dip and strip streamer fishing or any kind of uh, technique there on the East Walker, look no further than Whitney Inman with the Angler's Edge. We can put you in contact with her. Just reach out to us. We'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.